Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, your boy Kran, and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Here we are with Tom, of course. Name is Arthur. But yeah. So, Tom, cool? What's that? Is that not? Oh. Ah, uh, it's just. It's just here. Let's go then. Yeah, how are you guys? I've been not playing this game, I've been sick. My schedule has been rough lately, not like before, like every day. But um, yeah. play another Just season. One yeah. time, I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin, so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some. Two penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. Lumbago. We'll things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. The only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah. So, so cows, sheep, goats. Now goats is easy, but. They taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. Mm -hmm. fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. There we go. Oh, is that a hint? It's the red Harlow. In the black water. Let's go. I'm kind of hungry. I'm trying to wait on. Where were we? Doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw him walk into my lumber yard, mm -hmm. I'd think exactly the same thing. Need the money. Thinking about it? Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Oh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I just want the money. There we go. Hey, my horse is getting faster now, I believe. Maybe. I hope so. That ain't no proper attire, you know. What? Fuck you. This is him. Number salesman. How's little Emily? Emily? I'm sorry, I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Mm -hmm. Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Uh, here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, well, an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? Yeah. <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer and 
I like you, and David Geddes likes you. Now, mm -hmm. This man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. <laughs> John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. And you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I, you got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <laughs> oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I got gotcha. much choice. All right, then. Come on. What's a girl? Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. <laughs> Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. Go on, girl. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. But wait. I'll sell this one. To the butcher. Looking to and sell your wrong. wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Finest meat. Who? Now, Ramon Cortez is round those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some ass. And we're gonna get to him first. Okay. So we're going to Tumbleweed then. Hey, hey so who is this bounty? Come on. You're so slow, dude. My horse is freaking slow and you're slow. You was about to say Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some. And some Californios. And some regular Americans too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. Yeah, <laughs> charming to a fault. Ugh, it's a bad situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I'd vacation, but it's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, is they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. They yeah, ain't nice indeed. Weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this fella I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, John. We fought back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up. And Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. Woo! John Marston's got his own house. You should come see it. It's good country, Sadie. Despite all that. I try not to fraternize too much with employees. You know, it sends the wrong message. Oh, that's what I oh. am now. An employee. Mm-hmm. That's what the bank says. Oh. Well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am.
You bitch. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Oh, Come on, that? Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going. Roads. Roads. It's. Oh. Roads in need. That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Mm -hmm. Oh, shut up. the front for me will you I'll get them ready for you oh, oh. Hera. come on I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch mr. sheriff Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Mm -hmm. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Yes, These Ramon. I'm gonna ride you into San Denis and watch him hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard him till my boys arrive and we can get him out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the bad old days. Well, you did a good job. Are they coming? Oh, there we go. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One! Don't be a dumb bastard! Two! This is a good town now! Three! Let him have it, boys! Hold the tail! The lobos.
her. You're running scared. Who them? Who the frick was that? Fuck you. Or the frick. There we go. What was it? Come on. Jail. The jail. That was just a diversion. They blew my jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pass what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go, Jim Milton. Mount up. Trying. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guess we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If okay. we come back with Cortez, we're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. It's an odd thing, isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead, but not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. Mm -hmm. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with the price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know. Usually, if I got into who deserved what, second guessed every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. So, yeah. Hey, well, oh. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Yeah. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Okay. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I they look asleep as far as I can tell. <laughs> I'm gonna go. 
You sure about this? You just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. Damn. And shoot well. Ah. Uh, what a lady. Ah. Uh, oh, this reminds me of Arthur and. Uh, Oh, shoot around my ass. Chill, chill. Almost died. Working in Mexican. Oh, come on, I suck. Oh, there's more. God damn, dude. Oh god damn it dude Dude, that was a good shot. There we go. Are we done? We might just be son of a bitch. Now, I was saying, well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. Ooh. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. <laughs> nah, I'm just thinking out. Okay, let's go. Wait, can I loot them? Because I don't have any shit. Can't even buy them. Because I'm. Get out of here. 
poor as fuck. Bro. Hey lady. It's about time we collected this bounty. Bounty? Second time lucky. You think, yeah, second time lucky. You Always. Um, Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to Santa Knee right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. Huh. So uh, that's it for this episode guys, uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time, bye.